Hi everyone, this is Sarah Stonecipher Boyland, Digital Commissioner and Manager of Operations for Lifelong Learning at Virginia Theological Seminary. I am here today to show you really quickly how to make your Zoom meeting room pretty. I know a lot of us have started enabling Zoom meeting rooms um, in regards to all, in light of all of the Zoom bombings and increased Zoom security features. So I wanted to tell you how you can put your logo on and then also add a good description. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and head over to my zoom.us profile. I'm sharing my screen now, so you'll see it in one second. And so I am in the advanced settings under um, settings in meeting advanced settings. And so I'm under the, weed, the waiting room section um, and you can see I have enabled my waiting room. Um, I would recommend all participants do see the waiting room or, or, or enter into the waiting room before a meeting. And then you can go down here right under the pencil profile. So this is available only in the pro and above accounts. So that $15 a month and then above into the business or education or various other, um, various other types of Zoom accounts. So I'm gonna click into that pencil and then it gives me some options of, uh, of putting a logo in. Um, obviously the meeting topic will be dependent on whatever your meeting is called within the Zoom environment. And then you can also add a waiting room description. So I think here um, you, could, you could be really nice and say, welcome, we're so glad, you know, welcome, welcome to St. Luke's or whatever other, uh, whatever other church name you want to say. Um, then from there, you can say something about the worship. You know, we like to start our worship in silence. Please, please note that everyone will be muted as we enter into the sacred space of liturgy. Um, and so, so you can do something like that. And then that will be available every time uh, that, that it is enabled. And then you can also add in your logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add in a lifelong learning logo, just drop it in. I say, be aware that this is some really specific specifications. It needs to be bigger than 60 pixels um, and then uh, smaller than 400 pixels. So it ends up being like pretty small, like it ends up being like maybe like this big, like it's not, it's not a, a giant, uh, it's not a giant image in any way whatsoever. Um, and so then from there, that will be what is enabled every time I set up the waiting room. And just as a quick reminder, you can disable the waiting room for an individual meeting. So let's say you don't want that message to go up. You can always um, disable a meeting room for a, sp or a disable a waiting room for a specific meeting. Um, so uh, with that, that was how to make your waiting room pretty on Zoom. My name is Sarah Stonesiver Boylan. Um, please reach out if there are any other questions about Zoom and your digital worship space. I look forward to hearing from you soon.